on to the forward skin. So we've re coded it back into position on the top side this is by the looks of it yes it is it's the top side and um, what i'm about to do now is to drill all the holes out to three millimeters i'm slightly undersized for the rivets because then we've got to dimple dye them in other words countersink them by bending them and also the uh, the same to the ribs um, so that we can fit countersink flash rivets which will be a first for me I don't think I've ever put any of those in so um, that's what we're doing at the moment then we're going to flip it over do the same on the other side and then take it apart deburr it and then it's riveting time and uh, We'll see how well we do with this. So here we are with the forward skin, um, just uh, test fitting it and drilling it out to three mil holes, ready for dimple dyeing. That's next. Well, a few hours more work and uh, the front skin is now attached and uh, everything's been deburred. Um, I've dimpled the uh, the skin so this is having countersink rivets in it for a flush fit so all the holes have had to be dimpled and the same on the ribs as well the front ribs have all been dimpled as well and uh, to do that i've used a little dimple die a very simple device um, which uh, basically uh, goes either side of the metal and the uh, nail goes through the middle and into a hand-operated rivet gun. And you basically squeeze the handle on the rivet gun and it pulls the two halves together and creates a dimple a bit like that. And then when you put the countersunk rivet in, it's flush like that so that's good that's taken uh, well probably to uh, to drill out and uh, dimple everything about three or four hours work there um, so next thing to do is i've got the uh, standard rivets in on the top ready to go tomorrow morning so we're going to rivet along the top edge and then work our way from there to the front with the countersink rivets and then we'll flip it over and do the other side and uh, we'll see how that goes but uh, getting very close to having the wing box complete which would be great um, so i'll let you know what happens tomorrow so i've um, fitted one side of the forward skin that's been uh, fully riveted and i'm quite pleased with the uh, with the results the rivets are all sat down nicely we've got no gaps everything's good all the way along checked every single rivet and they are all good um, so now, just put the pito tubes in. Don't know how long to cut them to, so I'm just going to leave it in a loop and uh, cut them to length afterwards. Um, make sure there's enough there. I'm going to stick a tie wrap at either end just to hold them together so they don't move and get pulled out. Um, but apart from that, that went uh, well. It's about an hour and a half to uh, put the 200 odd rivets in. There's 104, I think it is, across the uh, the actual main spar on the bottom side, and uh, 90 odd 
in the uh, ribs um, but uh, so far so good and uh, now we've got to put the ties round and pull the skin back onto the top of the wing and uh, do this side which I'm sure is going to be much harder anyway there we go one wow, side for fun. the first time it actually is starting to look like a wing we've got the uh, top side pulled over uh, went back in line perfectly all the holes have lined up all the clicos have just gone straight back in their holes I'm quite pleased with that um, the copper clicos possibly aren't quite strong enough to uh, to hold the skin down on the rib where the main bend is um, but uh, we'll have to keep an eye on that it's not looking too bad from here it's holding its shape quite well and it's touching where all the um, cleat hose are which is good so I'm going to load up with the top rivets they're the standard blind rivets rivets and uh, got a hundred and four of those to put in so I'll be a little while and when I've done those we'll look at putting in the countersink ones on the leading edge okay top row of rivets all in and they're all looking good all sitting down nicely flat as a pancake and I've just put in the first row of countersink dimpled rivets across the top as well and about to put in the second row um, you can see the dimpled rivet there and there's the next one ready to go that's all the flush rivets in and done so basically we're at the wing box complete stage for the right wing and uh, all the flush rivets have gone in okay not looking too bad all dimpled in the only rivets we can't put in at the moment are the ones for the doubler strengthener at the root which can only be done when we actually fit the wing to the fuselage so that's a while off yet so there we go one right wing just have the uh, air alon and flap to make to go on the back end and also fit the wing tip